About 100 million bicycles are manufactured worldwide each year. Psychology is responsible for a small yet highly intelligent percentage of that. Here at Psychology, our mission is to deliver intelligent, superior quality bicycles to cyclists of all ages with exceptional customer support at an affordable price. We always strive to be the leading company in intelligent bicycle manufacturing throughout all of Canada. Our company's vital weakness was rooted in our financial sector. Although our forecasting accuracy was high, we could not catch up to our competitors and their strong financial decision making skills. The nationwide phenomenon that is psychology spiralled from Garrett Castle's brainchild in early 2015 with the goal of creating a smarter world, one bike at a time. Advertising had a huge impact on sale. In the first two years, the companies that spent the most on advertising had the most wholesale sales. Orville and Wilbur Wright, the brothers who built the first flying airplane, operated a small bike repair shop in Dayton, Ohio. These men have sparked an incredible flow of creativity in the modern day men and women who work here at Psychology. In our initial years, we spent more of our cash on hand than our competitors and did not wait to accumulate more funds before spending what we had on marketing and production. Our shareholder value began at a low rate and did not increase due to them making better financial decisions than us. Consequently, this resulted in the lowest shareholder value in the market. Psychology may not have been the most profitable bike manufacturer in Canada, but they have established a loyal consumer base and can boast that they are the most environmentally friendly manufacturing company in the world. When we initially began our company, we felt really confident in our vision, goals and strategic plan. After a couple years, we discovered that the success of a company relies heavily on the ever-changing nature of the market. We were forced to reevaluate our competitive advantage and now we realize that a successful business is one that is able to accurately predict the actions of competitors and make continuous adjustments and adaptations in order to apply strategy accordingly. We initially got $900,000 loaned to us from the bank, so we decided to pay that off first by giving them all the cash we had accumulated over the years. This way we can lower our debt to equity ratio to zero and we can focus more on production, distribution, delivering our products to customers who are loyal to us. We started with a mountain bike, the ADV4. It's a high quality bike that is quite affordable. With this mountain bike, we wanted to create a name for our company and enough profit to work towards a road bike. A strong brand doesn't seem to be important. Other than one firm, the companies that remained the highest in wholesale sales and finished with the highest shareholder value spent the least on brand advertising in the last six years. We previously sold around 20,000 bikes, which was less than we forecasted, which was 25,000 bikes. In terms of advertising for the ADV4, market research showed that sensitivity was fairly high. That's why we decided to put 800,000 into magazine advertising. Psychology was founded in September 2014 as a partnership between Garrett Castles and Brianna Farisi. It all began with a blind date at a local Starbucks. Little did they know that the blind date would spark a million dollar idea. Here at Psychology we made a $1.5 million profit after tax and our shareholder value reached a maximum of $16.50. Also our market share is at an all time high of 10.5%. We upgraded the specifications and quality of our mountain bike, which proved to consumers that we are continuously improving the brand and that innovation is very important to us. In the future, we are looking to release newer and more innovative products to spark the attention of new customers and reassure our position in the hearts of our existing loyal customers. We recently learned that it was important to minimize idle time and wastage, attempting to work at full efficiency and capacity. So we dropped our idle time to zero by lowering capacity and production to roughly 22,000 mountain bikes and 3,000 road bikes. The term bicycle was not introduced until the 1860s when it was coined in France to describe a new kind of two-wheeler with a mechanical drive. By looking at previous results, we made the executive decision to remove all funding from public relations, seeing as it wasn't benefiting our company anymore. We also decided to repurchase our 570,000 shares back to our 950,000 shares. 
We paid out three dollar dividends so that the investor could invest more in our company. Our company's vital weakness was rooted in our financial sector. Although our forecasting accuracy was high, we could not catch up to our competitors and their strong financial decision making skills. Why psychology? Good question. A psychology bike is comfortable, they are beautiful, and the kids at school are going to be jealous when you ring your little bell. Here at Psychology, we create the number one bikes in the world. Did you know bicycles are the most efficient mode of transportation ever? That beats out jet planes, jet cars, car planes, car cars, and all those boats. Cycling saves over 238 million gallons of gas per year by replacing trips made by cars, so it's just the smart way to get to work. When you're thinking about how to get to work, make the environmentally intelligent choice and ride a psychology bike. Psychology. You'd be out of your mind not to.